Welcome to Amara Ridge. I'm on Modern Street. Remember the way this development works is that there's two streets. There's the classical and then there's the modern. And I am in a home that honestly I have five minutes in, but I must say, wow. What caught my eye, I will share with you. What I'm loving about it is the light, the size of the doors and the windows, and also this door. It has to be seen to be believed, but because I don't get to tell the story about Amara Ridge, the architect behind it, architect Paul Oburu does that. Let me let him in. This time I get to welcome him in. Where is he? Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome. Thank you. Carl. Now that is a heavy door. I've just realized I'm a very spoiled woman. I can't remember the last time I opened a door. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's supposed to be heavy. It's yes. a befitting door for one million dollar house. Oh, so I it's hear you. Solid wood. It's grandiose and it's. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But once again, because you've taught me a term, the okay. arrival. Yes. So, you know, stage terrace, yeah. stage terrace stage again. Stage terrace, stage terrace. The arrival experience again is important. Yes. A double light lobby, a chandelier that drops almost to human scale. So yes. way up from the ceiling I know. to about two meters. Just gets to the human scale level. But this gives glass. you a chance to appreciate. And then you see the volume that's there. Yes. Yep. And, and then, then, of course, straight down. Straight down. But the key thing is there's a sheer contrast between the classical uh, yes, and the modern. And the modern. And you really, when you identify an architectural language that you like to use or adopt, you've got to execute it to true authenticity. True. So this is about simple, clear cut lines. Yes. Big windows, yes. a lot more light, a in, lot more light, in and here. a lot more transparency and interconnectivity between the rooms. I've noticed. So, of course, I had a little peek before you came in. There's a study through there, but this was designed as a study, or could be a bedroom. Yes, this is a study, mm -hmm. and uh, it could work out as a guest bedroom yes. should you have many guests. But actually, but you it's designed really it your, as a study. As a study, it's your workout space. You get in your guests, mm -hmm. and if you'd like to really have a meeting yes. one on one, yes. you then walk in there and close out. And then, of course, we into descend the living down into speed. the living room again, mm -hmm. taking advantage of the aspect, really stepping down and celebrating the stage, which I, is the pool and the beautiful landscape. And actually, that's something I noticed. So. This house has a pool. I didn't even think you could fit that into this house. Yes, so we've got a different pool arrangement for the classical. In mm -hmm. the classical, the pool is the centerpiece. Uh -huh. And the contemporary the pool is on the side. It cascades on the side of the oh, house the to house. one extreme. So it's a different arrangement for both. I love this living area. Dining room is through there. And we're going to have a look at this. And then, of course, you call this the entertainment area. And of course, that goes out into the garden and the pool deck. You know, the house is grand, yet this dining space is just right. And this little balcony area. Now, what was the thought behind that? What one wants to do here is really to have an inner, outer dining experience. Oh, so, so actually, if I want, I can experience. eat out yes. here as well. You can open the doors, uh -huh. flow out, uh -huh. have a outdoor dining space. Because on nice warmer nights, you can definitely eat definitely outside. Dine on the outdoors. But can I tell you what I'm loving about this particular space? That the garden and the idea is, is still very much married into the classical, yes. but all of a sudden, you've got garden and pool. Yes. And for some reason, that just makes this house go snap. It's beautiful. It's a different experience here. We've got a pool mm -hmm. deck on top. We've got water jets and fountains. Yes. Bring in that cascading water feel. Yes. You've got the waterfall, so you get the sound of, of water, water, which is beautiful, by the way. It so is. The senses, then you get your deck on the outside. Looking at the pool and looking back towards your house, you have a upper lawn uh -huh. and you have a lower lawn. The pool ideas were embraced mm -hmm. well by both clients and buyers at that time. Mm -hmm. They were positive about it, they thought it would add value and we demonstrated that we could deliver them economically and yes. to a reasonable budget. Okay. So they were well embraced and they turned out to be beautiful. Quite well embraced and they're really beautiful. They, they are beautiful. The contrast of the blues of the water, And the blue and the, the green. And then the green. So it really enhances your landscape feel. Okay. It's quite a rewarding sense when you come and pools out in the uh, terrace. So this is Amara and I've seen a lot of property, beautiful property in this area, Karen area. How do you top this? And are you planning to? 
we, we currently, I mean, the product was well received. It mm. sold out uh, pretty early on. Yes. Uh, and that's important to say because I, I remember, and the reason I was very intrigued by this product, is that a lot was written and said and how it's impossible, there's no way it can sell, it's empty, and, and we're actually in somebody's home right now. Yes, there were those challenges in the beginning where everybody sort of did not believe that it could be done. Mm -hmm. uh, the steam was quite uh, determined. Mm -hmm. We put in all stops, we believe we've delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, the you know, you have delivered. Snapped up yes. before the project was complete. Mm -hmm. There was a bit of restraint holding back, but mm -hmm. uh, we've been emboldened. We're moving forth with a lot more determination. Mm -hmm. And we are working on another project which is of larger scale, but also, I think, a bit more audacious. A bit more audacious. A bit more audacious. A bit more audacious. Less stops and we believe we're going to be Okay, so less and stops and, and, and the speed bumps have been removed. The speed bumps have been removed. <laughs> I think there's a bit more belief that it could be done. And we convinced there's a market and an appetite for for, for this, this kind of yes, there is. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm not even going to say um, when I'm going to see you, but I'm going to ask that when you're ready with the show house, not the final, mm -hmm. with the show house, could you please invite me to see this next audacious plan? Yes, we look forward to welcoming you in the first quarter of uh, 2020. Uh -huh. And we believe that uh, it's going to be a far more superior product. And this is with Saiten? This is with Saiten. It's going to be called Apple Wheel. And that's all we're going to say for now. Uh, but finally, you've seen Amara because Caroline came to see it. And Caroline didn't tell the story. The architect did.